beyond that sort of fictitious fourth dimension known as time, the sequence of time, that fifth dimension in which I see you as me. And when I see you as me, what is happening to you is happening to me. Therefore, I do nothing to you that would injure you because I know that if I injure you, I injure me. But it's not a social order. It's an actual order. I experience the pain and I experience the joy. Most people, when they open up the Kundalini and they start experiencing others' pain and joy, it's really fun for like 32 seconds. <laughs> and then it's like, this is too much information. I've got so much going on myself. I don't need what's going on with you to also be going on with me. And it takes a while to be able to balance within that amount of information. But ultimately, is there a you? Or is your pain mine? Are we all one, or is that just a poetic phrase? Because when we stop using our five senses to limit our observation to three dimensions, and the memory of what takes place in each moment produces a past which creates an anticipated future, when we get out of that construct, and we really begin to experience the experience of existence, we are one. 